What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Proliferate Cube Draft. I'll be your host with the most. Corpse Jack Menace is just insane in this format, right? We're going to take Corpse Jack Menace. This card is actually just fine. It might be a bomb here. Who fucking knows? But, like, uh, I don't really want to, like, the problem is I never want to give my opponent any of those modes. So I'm going to go with the old tried and true Corpse Jack Menace. Ooh, Tanazar Quandrix. Two Elder Dragons and back-to-back -back packs. Back-to-back -back packs. Um, this is whenever it enters the battlefield, double the number of 1-1 counters on a creature. And then whenever it attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of the other creatures become this is power and toughness, so 4-4. Four, four. So that's not bad. Um, Evolution Sage. This could be the Evolution Sage deck. Sacrifice another creature, put two 1-1 one, one counters on Flesh Carver. When it dies, create a horror that's equal to its power and toughness. I think this card's good too. Do we want Tanazar and go third color, Evolution Sage, Flesh Carver? 4-4 four, 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 four Flyer seems good. And like I keep being unimpressed with Evolution Sage. I'm going to get the guy that puts counters on things. This doesn't have anything to do with counters, right? It's just a 3 4 4 4 with reach. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay two. It deals damage equal to its power to that creature. Yeah, so it just, it, it doesn't fight, it bites. Oh, I like this old school banishing light that you can't actually see. I'm going to take Wall of Roots. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a. Uh... Uh, Polluted Delta for the... Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Also, Voracious Hydra is a banger. I kind of think it's Voracious Hydra here. I think Voracious Hydra gives us a form of removal that that these decks kind of want. And if we go like Corpse Jack into Voracious Hydra, yeah, we're just taking the Hydra. Someone's going to yell at me, I'm sure, but that's okay. That's okay. We can disagree. I actually do like Astral Cornucopia. Plus, if we can proliferate onto it after, um, I think it's actually good fixing. I think it's better than Psionic Blast. Dreadhorn Invasion's fine, but I'm not super. Oh, actually, maybe with Corpse Jack Menace. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm taking it. Contagion Engine again. You know what? Maybe we're gonna give it one more try. Blood Soak Champion. I don't care about you. We're taking the engine. Oh, Sunken Ruins? Deal. Lifeblood Hydra, XXX, or X, green, green, green. Enters the battle for the X11 counter, so let's say we spend five mana on it. It's a 2 2. When it dies, you gain life and draw cards equal to its power. That actually seems pretty sweet. Thriving Grove, also kind of good. Um, this comes into play untapped and fixes for black and for blue, though. Also, triple, black, triple green on uh, Lifeblood Hydra does not seem ideal. So maybe it comes back is my point. Shadrick's Silver Quill came back. I think we're just going with Skin Render here. Skin Render is a banger. Yeah, if we can actually put some counters on Tanazir, then we can actually make like six sixes or eight eights. And that's just a good deal. 
At least I assume it's a good deal. Who knows? Simic Manipulator. Oh, the Flesh Carver came back. I do like Flesh Carver. It is, in fact, a deal. Did Super Fritz leave? He's been quiet. Vivid Marsh is actually probably fine. I don't think I care about Halana. But it was not a deal. It says Kerwood and Super Fritz are still here. It's only 1230, which is actually pretty early for both of them, so it doesn't surprise me. Polluted Delta came back. Oh my god. Fatal put. Oh, the Cornucopia came back. Let's take the Cornucopia. We already have Blood Chief's Thirst and Skin Render so far. No, Fume Spitter. Okay. I'm here. Neon Tokyo Rain. I love you, buddy. Bayou? I friggin' love seeing a Bayou. I don't care about Crane or these two. This 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 pack is great for us. Just take this Bayou. Especially with a polluted Delta. I'm so clingy, hold me. Well, not if you're so clingy. Maybe you should get some some dryer sheets. That seems like what you want. Okay, untap a land. You may have it become a 3-3 with haste and menace. It's still a land. Okay, whenever a lander's battlefield, put a loyalty counter on Nyssa. Put a creature with mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control on the battlefield from your hand or graveyard. We're going to try this. Yeah, we're going to try this Nissa. And I'm hoping that the Malicious Affliction comes back, maybe. Breeding Pool is a banger. Coalition Relic's a banger. Phyrexian Metamorph. Part the Water Veil. This pack is nice. I do want this Breeding Pool, but it might come back. I think Coalition Relic's the, the place. The place to be. Wish they had some art, but that's okay. I don't hate Fibblethipped here, actually. Actually, Tabarax is lifeline as long as you have five more counters on. Remember, another non token creature you control dies, put one on it. That creature is a cleric, you draw a card, remove a life. Um, I think this guy's just really good. Parting Thoughts is really good, too. Destroy a creature, you lose. You draw X cards and lose a line of X number of counters on that creature. Parting Thoughts also just kills anything. I kind of want the Parting Thoughts here. Just being able to kill anything is great, and maybe draw some cards is also great. Fish call. Do you just want thrumming bird or varals? I don't, I don't know what, like, I'm asking these questions, but I really have no idea what to, like, what to pick, you know? You think thrumming bird? Yeah, I think thrumming bird's pretty strong. I'll take a thrummer. A thrummer, you know? I'm going to take this flooded grove. Now we have Sunken Ruins and Flooded Grove. We almost have the, the trifecta. Hadana's climb is bananas. This just puts counters on things every turn, and that's kind of what you want with Corpse Jack Menace or um, Thrumming Bird. One of the other things you kind of, kind of want is Overgrown Tomb, especially when you have a Polluted Delta. 
and a bayou. Nothing in this pack is exciting. I think we're just taking Executioner's Capsule. So if you activate this three times, it basically turns into a Gilded Lotus. So you've put seven mana into it. Mana base is looking nice. I agree with you. Malicious Affliction was actually a card you wanted to come back. Breeding Pool was a card you wanted to come back. Mana base is looking better all the time. Let's get, oh, the two other cards we wanted to come back have come back as well. I'm going to take Tamarax. I think it's just a really good. We might not play Cornucopia now that we have uh, Coalition Relic. Okay, so pretty much every card we've wanted has come back. That's pretty good. I have not gotten the Megalodon Tooth yet, but I, I, I actually just mentioned this the other day. I'm waiting for one that's, that's good because I'm only going to buy one. And uh, I was also waiting because we're moving in like three weeks. So I wanted to wait till we moved to get something good but uh it's definitely on my list and it's definitely a uh, a purchase that i i am definitely gonna make because fossils are super cool man pack three constrictor constrictor would be bananas Elite, are you? Is that Aaron? <laughs> That's, I think I just put that together, dude. That's wild. How much is Megalodon? It's like the one I'm looking. The, like the ones I'm. I'm in the price range of like a three to four hundred dollars is what I'm looking at spending. Crystalline Giant. So this is like I don't know why it says that. It's this is this is Mecha Godzilla. I don't know why we're we're calling it Crystalline Giant here. Oh man, Aaron, what up, dude? That's hilarious. I feel like I just figured that out that it was you. All right, so we got Creeping Tar Pit, Mecha Godzilla. So the the ones that are like three to four hundred dollars are typically between like four and five inches. So I want something that's actually sizable that that actually looks like it came out of a friggin' prehistoric shark, you know. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> I think we we'll just take Creeping Tar Pit, like fixing this mana base, man. I just want to have good mana. Also, Sweet Gum Recluse. Is that kind of good? 10 creatures? Eh, I'll take the Tar Pit. I'm sure we can get more creatures like Virtuous Gear Hulk, which I think is probably bananas here, right? I'm going to take this Gear Hulk. I think it's, I think. There is an argument for a Devoted Druid because we don't have that many two drops and it ramps us. But Virgius Gear Hulk seems like a friggin' <sighs> It's your boy. I just got home from Cancun Cube as I wind down from travel days for Dude, I actually, yeah, I saw your 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 Cancun post. And I was like, what a maniac. I hope you had a great time. I'm sure it was beautiful. I just got my second COVID shot this last Saturday. So I'm basically like about a week and a half away from like super, uh, super immune to everything. <laughs> I'm actually going to run to the restroom after the draft portion. So don't think I'm going anywhere. We should, what if we take Quill cool Spike and, um, and then the uh, devoted Druid comes back. Boy, that sentence was real hard to get out. I'm going to take it anyway. That pack's not super impressive. Generous Patron. When it enters the battlefield, support two. That's not bad for three mana. Whenever you put one or more counters on a creature, you don't control draw a card. I'm going to take... Oh, fuck. Plain White Celebration is, is a banger, though. I kind of want the Verdant Catacombs just because it's, like, really good for our mana base. I want to take the Verdant. Perfect weather. Our vaccines lined up perfectly with my wife's grad school. It's nice. Yeah, it's really funny because Katie got into grad school at CSU. Or not grad school. Um, Her residency. Her veterinary residency is at CSU. And um, 
which is which is in Fort Collins, and Cassidy and Jake are also going to Fort Collins, and I'm like, this is the the weirdest situation. Like, what are the odds that we're like all in the same place? I kind of like hagramalling here, just being able to kill a guy. We got a free land. Sure, I'll take a hagramalling. Ooh, I like Warden of the First Tree. Oh, I like Talisman too, though. Hmm. 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 What is Diamond Knight? Just like when it comes into play, you get like, uh, you choose a color. Yeah, okay. Trample and Lifelink. Then it gets five. I'm going to take this guy. I think this guy's. Where should Doc Hank get out of here? What are you even doing? You're going to put Tropical and Underground in the same pack? So we have Breeding Pool, but we don't have Watery. I think it's Underground. Ugh, wow, that's so. That's both insane and amazing. My grandpa graduated from CSU. <laughs> like how CSU turned into church. It's like, oh, church vet school, huh? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, that's actually awesome, dude. Wow, that's crazy. What a small world. Monstrous 3. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2, as long as it's monstrous as menace. Oh, it just goes a 5-5 five, five rat. I'm going to take this marionette master. Am I going to play it? That's another question. We still have two slots here, so. I mean, we could have Zulaport Cutthroat and Blood Artist. I'm going to take this sword. What the hell? What the hell, right? Uh, Remove to five counters from target artifact, creature, planeswalker, or opponent. I'm just taking Drana. Drana is for sure playable. Did this not have art? Now it does. Yeah, that guy's fine. Also, if we if we just wheel a, a fallen shinobi, we can we can kick it. And by kick it, I mean we can play this guy and then attack with it, and then they're not going to block. That was what I was trying to say, but for some reason it came out we can kick it, and I don't think that's the uh, I don't think that's the exact thing we're doing. Yeah, tragic slip. All right, this deck looks sweet. I paused the video for those watching on YouTube to go to the bathroom and I got a banana. So that's why when you were here before, I didn't have a banana and now I have a banana. It is a banana banger. It was a land. Coin that banana up and put it on a sandwich with peanut butter. That actually sounds great. I've never heard the term coin up though. Like I've never heard like when you cut it in like, like when you cut it in slices. I've never heard them refer to as coins. But that actually makes a lot of sense. I like it. Chris, I'm glad you're still here, buddy. Christopher always just appears out of the, out of the darkness. I think we can cut Skyclave Shade. Look at our mana base. It's fucking unreal. All of these lands are good. <laughs> this is 11 picks in lands. Like, we can even play this. Of course, I love, I love, our, I love our stream hangouts. So, I don't mind Cornucopia. But I just feel like Coalition looks better. And I don't feel like I want both, especially because we have... I don't know. What are we cutting for it? Sword could be very good, though. I could see putting Sword in. Let's put Sword in. And then we'll put Hogramalling in. And then we'll put all these lands in. <laughs> and it's just like... We actually only have three blue cards, which is pretty hilarious. I don't even think we want an island. What do we got? One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources without an island. Uh, 
That seems fine. Plus relic. <laughs> and green we have one, two, three, four. No, this is, is this both? No, this is just blue, right? Okay. And then green we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Black we have one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go one higher black because that's what we have a lot of. Oh wow, that was nice. Hmm, snap that. I guess we could have went forest, huh? Womp womp. Mm, let's get another, let's get breeding pool here. Actually, let's just get by you. We don't need, again, we have four cards that are blue, maybe three. He's always eating bananas on stream. I don't understand. Okay. They're gonna block with the sparring construct. Joke's on them, I'm pumping it anyway. <laughs> He loves his bananas so much. Hmm. You know, we have three things that cost four. <laughs> Technically four things that cost four. I mean, I don't want to kill like a Memnite with it, so. <sighs> We're just gonna keep on rolling. Last bite. And then the banana was gone. Spring leaf drum, huh? Well, all right. Oh, where were you last turn? See what I mean? Unbelievable. Oh no. Oh, it resolved. You sound like Bane eating bananas. Hmm. You merely adopted the banana. I was molded by the banana. Have another banana, Batman. So wait, if we activate this next turn, nothing happens. Okay, that makes sense. That check sound. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a four six, we need to deal three. Well, we're missing a land drop here. So you know what we're gonna do instead? Just kill it. <clears throat> Straight up murder it and attack for seven. And now you're at a point where like blocking seems like a good idea. Yeah, we would make this a 2-3. It would come into play as a 4-5 with four counters on it. I don't even know what this does. Scholar of the Lost Trove. Oh, you exile an artifact and you pay it without mana without the mana where's my where's my mana again i mean i guess we're just gonna play sword here but again if i had one more land it's a lot better they have two cards could be okay
That wasn't murder. That was Blood Chief's thirst. Get your cards right, stupid. He didn't leave any leftovers with his banana. I don't believe it. I don't even believe it. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's that's a that's a thing, all right. Boy, this game really uh really turned around. Hmm. I think we have to trade one of these guys. It's probably gonna be Corpsey Boy. Yep. Don't really want to go to five here because then we just die to the 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 banana next turn oh interesting so they're gonna block but then we can just kill the sphinx with our with our tragic slip and if they don't block well that would be cool <laughs> Okay. Thank you. I guess we're taking four here. <laughs> oh, what up, Big Lou? Thanks for the resub, buddy. You, <laughs> God, that's that has to be one of my favorite memes. When I saw what I saw it was you, I was like, "Oh man, this is gonna be good." What did they do? They hoggers mauling my guy. Oh, well, that's fun. That's how you realb. I don't know what realb means, but you know, I assume it's something weird because that's just the kind of guy. Uh, Standard beat is. Okay, we're gonna go fight a dude. Now it's one to one, <laughs> and I got a sword. Oh man, Chris, that sandwich looks friggin' banging. That bread looks humongous. Oh, good. How nice. Because, of course, you had land and that guy in order to exactly play that guy. Hate you. You know damn well what I'm... I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we just have to do this, unfortunately, and hope it actually works. I mean, they're in top deck mode. We can block their Grim Pop at take two. Oh, that's, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Okay. Okay. So what does this do? It puts a counter on a, on a creature you control, then it proliferates. So if we attack with this first, she's going to connect. She's going to put a counter on all the things. Yeah, the first strike here is really nice. One, two, three, four. Nissa. Uh, So they actually have to block here, but we might be dead. Oh, we're not dead.
Oh, the menace makes it so they have to block, whereas if they didn't block, they're just dead. So they actually have to block here. Yes. Let's go first strike. What are we putting a counter on? Oh, what up, Phil? That's it, right? Oh, I forgot that it doesn't have first strike. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, we're just going to play this. And uh, there you go. All right. Hope they can't deal an extra two. But if they could have, they would have done it last turn and attacked with both. Oh, my God. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. Well, pause it and see if we can resolve this. Okay, so it came back, but literally every card art is gone. So, <laughs> cool. I'm just going to submit. I don't think any of my other cards are really... Uh, And I'm going to make this as big as I need it to be. And we're going to go back to this guy. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is unplayable. Are you serious right now? Oh, come on. Uh, you know, I guess I'll keep. How do I get the art to load? Oh my god. This is real, dude. Holy crap. This is this is really hard for me because I'm a very visual person and like having art that looks like this or, you know, doesn't look like anything is really tilting. <laughs> it's anything like Chrome. Right-click, load image. No, it doesn't work. Oh. That one you can see. That one too. Oh, we're coming back. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We got a couple of arts. <gasps> all right, all right. Beautiful, beautiful. This is gonna populate the images from Scryfall real quick. You know, like you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, go, go. Power Rangers. Just gonna always yield to that guy. What is this thing? 2-2 two, two with modular. Sacrifice an artifact. Search your library for a construct. Put it in your hand. Wild. What a magical time. Well, again, we have 4-drop, four 4-drop, four 5-drop. I guess we can play this 3-drop. That's a thing, right? So the art is there. How do I get it like, how do I get it to be big? How do I get it to show in my hand? Okay, you gonna put on this guy? 
going to put it on himself, huh? Okay. I mean, we're definitely blocking, and then we're just killing this with the, with something, right? <laughs> you made another AOL CD ROM with four hundred more hours, uh, thirty more free hours. I don't know. Why I read four hundred, but that's okay. I think we're hagramalling this guy. Um, reason being, this is more flexible. I can cast it for one or for four, and it also kills a planeswalker. Whereas Hagramalling just kills a creature. What a bully. I do like that, um, Flesh Carver is basically like Rot Lung Reanimator in a sense. Drawing two cards there is decent. You know what else is decent? Do I sort of my team or do I Virgil Gear Hulk? I think we're I think we're Virgil Gear Hulking. I'm gonna pay two green though, because that seems better. Um It's the new super secret layer art, obviously. Man, you guys are... You guys are killing it right now. Oh, this old chestnut. See, now we can kill this. We could have killed it before, too. Don't get me wrong. But they're basically dead, right? And that'll do, pig. That was a quick match. <laughs> I like it. If all these matches go as quickly, I can get some sleep at a reasonable hour. And if they don't, well, I guess they don't. Ooh, I mean, we can't play a turn two Constrictor, but we can play a turn three Constrictor. Oh my god, JNQT again. Rematch. Give me a kiss to build a dream on and my imagination. If one or more counters we put on an artifact creature that many powers. Yeah, so the problem is with Wall of Roots, it's pretty bad. It's actually a non-bow. Oh my god, does, does J and QT just draft mono um <laughs> mono white weenies? <laughs> oh man, good times. I think we're just going for Bayou. I mean, we're definitely blocking here. Like, I don't think plus three is an option, so. Dude. 
Ooh wee land. Thank you. Living that dream. Living that dream. So we're just gonna actually make. Uh, we're gonna play this guy because, the you know playing this this turn is just so much worse than playing it next turn, especially if we hit another land. Then it's like a f six seven. Don't kill my corpsey boy. Oh, Lurus. Okay. One, two, three. I like making this a two, three actually. And then also tragic slipping something. One, two, three. Voracious Hydra for one. Uh, fight this guy. Slip a slipperino and then get in there. That's a turn. That was an effective turn. Not the biggest voracious hydra, but you know. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, hmm. well, the problem is, I don't think we can actually do this. Because right now, in order to do this, we need we need only one colorless, which could be used by the blue. But then we'd have to go green, black for this guy, and then we don't actually have another way to upgrade this. Hmm. Interesting. What did I miss? Uh, nothing. So we're just going to pass here and put a counter on this guy, EOT. There's no real point in attacking with Corpse Jack Menace. They just block with Kithian and then Kithian comes back. Okay. Oh, actually, no reason to do that. Oh, I guess I can't undo it because I'm terrible at this game. And uh, <laughs> it's not a mana ability, even though it's, it's basically a mana ability. Oh, burn down on me. Or are they going to double block the menace? Where's a black? Is it too black? Oh my god, why is it too black? I don't even have that. <laughs> Dang it. 
All right. Well, I guess we're just going to play uh, Winding Constrictor here. All right. Well, Contagion Engine next turn, hopefully. Okay. Can't block anything. Man, we're even playing like extra black. <laughs> It's kind of annoying. Oh, they have one card in hand. That's good for us. Oh, well, that's reasonable. So long, little buddy. Okay. Yeah, block and shoot is fine. Yep. I mean, they have three power on board, so we could either proliferate or blood chief's thirst next time. Oh dear. What is this? Okay, they just needed the red for that. Got it. Second artifact, or can block? Sure. So one, two, three, four. We could play Blood Chief's Thirst and kill like the Thopter, so they're only left with the Pia. These thoughts and the strain I am under. Yeah, we're just going to do that because they have to block. Oh, I guess they get it back, though. Ugh, that's, God, the stupid brood moth, man. Can they kill us? It's our artifact. Whatever. This doesn't come back, so. That's fine. Luminous Brood Moth Man. <laughs> oh boy. So they block here, they take six, they go to two, they get a Pia that flies and a token. So they attack for three and they can pump once. So four. I think this is fine. Really hoping I'm not making a bird brain move here. Yep, they get that back. They get the Thopter. Now they have two, three, four total damage on board. So if they can deal an extra two, that doesn't do it. 
Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Can I proliferate their flying counter? Double flying? Is that the luminous brood mothman? They said they should have blocked the Hydra. But the Hydra has Trample, so I'm not sure what the difference would have been. All right, let's, let's see if we can. We have a more removal. Fume Spitter actually seems like it could be good here. Executioner's capsule as well. Sort by okay. So all of our all of our arts back too, which is nice. I'm gonna play 41. Oof, big oof, big moles. Oh, big moles again, go to five. Keep that, okay. Um, let's get rid of Bird and Mirror Lake. I think all of these cards are significantly better here. Oh, goody. It's your boy. Yeah, slap him. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. Interesting. These thoughts from the strain I am under. Underground sea. <laughs> no, 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 nailed it. There you go. Destroy a non black. So we can actually kill both of these guys. Let's play barrels here. Having zombie armies to like sack to barrels is pretty sweet. Oh no, Kenyan slumped on a banana peel. <laughs>
Oh, I love that we can also just trigger Morbid, which is pretty sweet. Sack our guy, trigger Morbid. Malicious Afflict. That is one delicious affliction. Crystalline Giant. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do some work here. I don't want this guy to get hexproof, right? So <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it getting hexproof just so we can death touch. Sounds good. Okay, just so we can block it. So it's a ten percent chance, I think. Oh yeah, copy that thing. Fumey boy. Well, we're out of cards, so. Here comes your favorite. No, I guess we have Executioner's Capsule, so I'm not super worried about a moth, Mothman. A luminous Mothman. Hmm. Okay. I mean, if this is their turn, I'm completely okay with that. Hmm. <laughs> It's only at sorcery speed, right? Scavenge, scavenge is a sorcery. Got that 2-2. Two, two. Next turn, it'll be a 3-3. Three, three. Oof, that's good. Oh, did they tap wrong though? So now they can't play Kithian? Hmm. Oh, they just have another land. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. That guy's gotta go. That guy's gotta go. Do, 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 do. That guy's gotta go. I think we're taking two from the night because otherwise we uh, block and they shoot. <coughs> and that's just not great. I feel like we need to draw something. <laughs> like, 
Yep, that's the that's the two we're talking about. So we're gonna go to like nine here. Oh boy. Oh, okay. So we have one card left in their hand. Well, that's good. This has to go immediately, right? Like there's no one, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna pass here and keep up skin render for next turn. Ideally this gets to a five, six, six, and then we just gain life. Kithkin is good. They can make it a four, four here. And then a six, six next turn. That's unfortunate. Eight, eight. Eight, eight is what I meant. Mm. Guess five five is what it would be, but I don't I don't know. So you're saying there's a chance. I mean, next turn if they attack, we can attack back. Oh boy. Yeah, this guy's 100% becoming a 5-5 five, five floaty boy. We can't scavenge anything. What are you saying right now? Oh, we can actually sack like skin render and scavenge onto the zombie army this turn to make some huge, huge thingamajig. Is the fume spider gone? It's the fume spitter is gone, yes. We used it on something else. This is a 9-9. Nine, nine. I think we're just attacking for 9 here. Gains lifelink. Sounds good. And if they want to block with everything, totally fine. Because they only have 7 in first strike. And we can't block the figure of destiny anyway, so might as well get our lifelink in. You may be thinking of Nightmare Spider or Pepperoni Pizza Rat. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we're back at 16. <clears throat> the fume spider. <laughs> Them playing a land there is nice, but they do get two fires with the lesser Masticor. But then if they, what, if they attack for seven, then we just block one and... Like, we can also sack Wall of Roots to regenerate, and then... Put some counters on barrels. So this is going to be a 10-10 now, which means they still can't go like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, four.
I'm usually very good at the draw land challenge. Um, so this is a 10-10. They go 5-6-7. They double block. They can shoot twice and block here. And that kind of wipes the board. I think we're just going to attack with that. I don't really care. <laughs> Oh, just this little guy's going? And now I assume they're going to double shoot ferals. Oh, it's dealing it to itself. Haha. -ha. Okay. Crafty. Crafty. K R A F T Y. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like this 11 11 is uh, pretty good. Did they draw the answer? Well, I can't block that guy, so. <laughs> oh, it's non-token though. Oh. Okay, well that's good. That's good. That's some life, unfortunately. But we're also not going to lose any more life, so that's good. Um, oop, don't sag anything else. Wait, what the, what the... Oh, it's power, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was casting cost. I'm s not smart. Yep, that is fine. Wow, that was so bad. <laughs> it's like so many. I always, I keep thinking it's friggin, it's not, it's power, it's not. Yeah. Thought it was casting cost. And the reason is because a lot is casting cost. Like, oh, skin render puts, I guess it puts three instead of four. This puts one regardless. So we got seven, seven damage here. <clears throat> I think they're just going to kill us with this now because they just need to block two more turns. Yep, this might be the end. I mean, if we can draw a good a good card. Donna's Climb. Does that do it? That was a 24, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do the 24 24. Ba do ba do 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 ba do 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 23 minutes instead. <coughs> Slapping the mono away. I got shit out of his face. Oh, man. Good times. Jay and QT has been a, a very solid opponent. So that's been good times. Might be a little obsessed with mono white, though. Although the archetype does seem very strong in this cube. The old 24-24. A classic. 
All right, round three. Let's see if we can trophy, man. Good games, JNQT. Really putting mono white through its paces in this cube. I'll keep this hand. I'll keep this hand and hope that we draw a significant number of lands. Like four lands. Maybe some creatures. Well, I went to five. So that's good for us, I guess. Yeah, agree completely. Like the the matches with Mono White, I was like, I, there were so many decisions because of all like the tricks and the counters and like there's a lot of a lot of interaction, <laughs> like a surprising amount. Okay, well, if we can get two lands in a row, I'll be okay with it. Because I mean, Nissa. Oh, interesting. Nice, okay. So land, land would be good. Then we can play Nissa, and then we can also... Oh, boy. Does land get haste? It gets haste and menace, right? Well, we threw away three damage, but that's okay. Haste and Menace. No. All right. So we're just trying to deal with all their threats so far. And next turn we can actually play... Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. That's super obnoxious. See, I just don't want them to untap, I guess. I don't know. Them being tapped out seems good, and us getting a sword on this thing seems good. Two, two. So they're actually dead on board if we equip sword and they don't have an answer. <coughs> All right. Well, that was a game, I guess. Maybe. Hard to say. Executioner's capsule could come in here. Maybe Tabarax comes out. I'm going to keep this because we're on the draw and any land lets us play Wall of Roots into Coalition Relic. And this hand seems pretty good. Although that is not a wall. Or a land, rather. We also have, like, lots of two drops, so. Cool. <laughs> Super cool. I'm going to discard Climb here. Ugh. Do I have no okay oh there's a land all right well so <clears throat> kind of tempted to just kill this while we can but I guess this is always going to kill it so we'll just play wall of roots here and then next turn we can play relic and then kill it with blood chief's thirst if we want no we can't that's not how that works That is a good planeswalker. I need a black source. It's not a black source. If this is a sunken ruin, I guess we'd still be up Shit's Creek, huh? All right. We really need to make next turn work for us. And I think that includes like Blood Chief's Thirst than malicious affliction. <laughs> Seems good. Seems good. 
Why did I kill the bird with blood chief's thirst? Because I want to get rid of a Johnny and I don't have another answer for a Johnny. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste it on like a two, three bird. Yeah. Well, we tried. Infuse bird actually might be, I think that's probably better than thrumming bird. Thrumming bird might be too cute. <coughs> I mean, Fume Spitter just does kill both of the creatures that we saw. This seems good. <laughs> wow, Angry Johnny's a throwback, dude. Good lord. Do I play that bird again and see what happens? Young wolf. Just gonna load up the board. Look at all my this was a lot of removal, but young wolf is kind of a kind of a dick. Ooh, I like a Flesh Carver. <clears throat> flesh Carver is my favorite sandwich from Boston Market. Well, that's interesting. Sure. Hmm. This is interesting. So we could fume spitter the servant. <clears throat> This is a 2-2, two -two, but I don't think I care about it. Undying says if it doesn't have a plus one, plus one counter, it comes back with a plus one, plus one counter. It's like the opposite of persist. Ishai, Ojitai, Dragon Speaker. 1-1 one, one for 4. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a partner. Sure, that's... What? Hmm. Just gonna keep attacking here. All right, that's what we're looking for. Okay. I think we're I think we're in significantly better shape now. Okay. So much better shape that we've uh, won the draft and we're going to open this trophy. 
it's not in store. It's my collection. Apparently, if you kill all their creatures, where's the treasure chest? No treasure chest? This is this is it. Okay, you just don't have a five play points, a Thada Adele, and a flying crane technique. I top eight a GB with a flying crane technique in my deck. That was cool. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe or follow. It's a great way to support the channel, and it's one of the few ways that I make income through Twitch streaming. So be sure to support the channel. It's, I appreciate it. It's a great way to help out. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do some more cube drafts. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.